the ultimate leap of faith, 12 regular people have left their jobs behind for the opportunity of a lifetime. They will spend the next 11 weeks working together as they compete against each other for an equity stake in a business with billion dollar potential. The first five days are spent in an immersive boot camp, which was created for the Branson Center Entrepreneurship in South Africa. This intensive entrepreneurial training program will prepare them for the ultimate challenge, creating a business from scratch in just 10 weeks. Orienteering was uh, the exercise we did uh, today. We had, uh, I think, to around 20 questions and we um, certain questions had more points, 20 points, five points. So we had a group of five, we split the group in half and decided to basically go for the uh, highest numbers of points. We're there. Okay, 100 meter guys, come on. Yeah, I think what I learned with this exercise was really about clear communication on the rules of the game. How do you engage in, uh, in making efficient decisions, but also really applying this to your team? My name is Antoine Naval. I'm 46. I'm from Paris and I'm Australian. I'm a dad and uh, I'm a husband and I'm a business entrepreneur. I see myself in six months time running and operating a successful business. After getting their first taste of the Investable program, the teams were off camping for three days in the Glenworth Valley. I'm excited to see how so many people that have never camped before in their life are gonna, are gonna go. It doesn't sound like many, but I'm, I'm a Tassie boy. We go camping all the time. Uh, my name is Scott Lawless. I am 28 years old and I'm originally from Tasmania, but I live in Sydney. Three words to describe myself. Uh, I'm happy easy going and I like to think thoughtful. I'm really excited about what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to start to count for how many leeches we find, extra points if they're on our bodies as opposed to from the ground. Um, I'm a bit nervous about abseiling because I have been known to blow around in the wind and uh, I'm still going to see whether I can convince someone to carry me part of the way. Hi right, everyone, well it's a pretty exciting day for me because I've always wanted to, uh, to take a whole lot of people out to the bush and experiment on them. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's, it's a pretty um, phenomenal uh, setting that we're going to be in for the next Over the next three days, participants were to be pushed outside their comfort zone as they competed against each other for the all important points that would decide who got to be the team captains going into the intensive 10 week program. With their tent set up, the teams prepared for another big day. So I guess we're, uh, we're setting off on the, uh, one of my favourite challenges for the Progress Lens, the Mountaineering Challenge. And it's all about the different stages you go through in business. And I, I think, if I think about Equid, I think these guys are going to go through um, you know, a condensed version of this. They're going to have some obstacles thrown at them. But the, the whole idea about the, uh, the Mountaineering Challenge is not to lose sight of the, the end game. At the end of the program, um I'm hoping to be an executive of eCred. Um, it's something that I've been looking to do from a personal perspective or something similar to it um, over the past year. Uh, my background gives me some understanding of the, of the sector as a whole. And uh, I think I've got, I've got one good project left in me. I, I don't see myself being a serial entrepreneur, but certainly an entrepreneur. I've got bags of energy to, uh, to take, take this idea and make it work. So we were talking about who's going to go first and I know I'm my worst enemy when I'm trying something new that scares me and the longer I have to think about how scary it is, the worse that it gets. So I had to stick my hand up first just to end my own pain and suffering. My name is Van Lee and I'm 35, turning 36 and I'm from Vietnam. I want to push my limits. I really want to close um, that gap from idea to reality in shorter and shorter periods, so I want to see how quickly I can get something from an idea to a reality. Next thing I know, I'm like letting these, you know, metres and metres of rope go, and then I'm at the end, it's like, oh, is that all it was? So I saw my own strategies change um, as I was at different points down the, um, down the cliff face. Alright, so there's your outside line, right okay. here behind your back. Yep. 
Behind your back, just like the other one. The other back. It. First of all, you've just got to step up. Turn up, then step up and be attached. Then you've just got to get over that first edge. Then as you go down and the cliff face disappears, you have to face that head on. So it's as much about breaking down this epic journey into little parts that you can, like bite-sized bits that you can easily manage. And then also believing in your own ability to just tackle each of the little hurdles as they come. Woman. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? You'll probably find out in a minute. <laughs> Hello! Oh! 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 Okay, here I go. I want them to play dumb things as my coffins carry towards <laughs> through the church. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 31 years old and I'm from Sydney, living in North Sydney but raised in the Southern Highlands. A success for me means a new skill set that I can apply for the rest of my life um, and a new network that um, I'm a part of uh, that includes people I can learn from, not just for the next few months but from now on. Hi! Say hi! Say ka! While I don't want to be on the bottom of the leaderboard, I actually don't really want to be a leader because I think I could work with at least half of them. I've had a couple of minor disagreements. I think for me this week has been really defining uh, personalities, skills uh, and relevance to the business model. I think it's mainly because we're all very tired and we've got a lot of uh, information going through our heads at the moment. And, um, We've had sleepless nights and horses treading on our tents. <laughs> We've had you know, so much content that's filled our brains, but um, I think one thing, you know, we're now experts at the decisionship theory, but the next 10 weeks is gonna be about how do we put that theory into practice? Because you're actually literally gonna be making more decisions in a very tight time frame than you've ever made before, particularly in a business setting. As of uh, Monday, we're going to be announcing the, um, the four people at the top of the leaderboard, which will be the combination, half of your points are from the challenges, and you've sort of seen how that's creeping through, and you probably sort of get, get a feel who's probably at the top of that, but every challenge, you have to nominate one MVP person. As those four winners will get a chance to choose their team. So over the weekend, start to think, if I was one of those people, who would I start to choose for my team? So we're now gonna announce the four captains in reverse order. Okay, in fourth place, could I get Jacobus to stand up? Yay! So the person who came third during these 12 challenges um, was Alan. Yay! Person in second place was Gary. Okay, are we ready for the first placed person? With 65 points and topping the boot camp was Scott. Ah, uh, this is super hard, um, but I'm going to pick Samantha. Okay, it's me. Um, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, I'm going to go with Antoine. Welcome. I think I'm going to go with Darren. Welcome to the team. Thank you. I'll go with Kylie. <laughs> so I'm going to, we're going to choose Van. Alan must now make a decision between lawyer Sonali and former professional poker player Dixon. So there's nothing personal this, but I'm going to play the wild card. Welcome. I'll take the extra. <laughs> I think being put in a pool with so many talented people uh, from so many different backgrounds with a lot more experience than myself, I didn't expect to, to um, do as well as I did, no way. Looking forward to the week and go, okay, what does this week entail for us and what to expect because a lot of it is unknown. This week is where it gets serious. 
we're here to build a business. 10 weeks, $10,000 to make a million dollar business, I don't see any problem there at all, we're going for it.